Well, greetings, AR101 students. Greetings from the Academic Success Center. I'm Lisa Ramsey, one of the Academic Success Advisors here in the center. And, and I'm Ed Mish, the other Academic Success Advisor. Today, we are going to talk with you about creating a four-year plan, specifically using Google Sheets and the online bulletin. First and foremost, we wanna make sure you understand how important it is to create a four-year plan. Planning your courses carefully can allow you to make the most of your college experience and your college career. Um, by doing this, you'll be able to find a way to connect your majors and minors and your core. Uh, that re reinforces your material, makes your, your classes more rewarding, and probably the biggest value is to save time and money. So we'll talk a little bit more about that later. But first and foremost, why use Google Sheets? Why use this process that we're going to, we are going to, to let you know about that throughout this presentation. And we'll actually show you a demo in a little bit. So first and foremost, why I use Google Sheets is you can use it anywhere. You can view it from the same way through whether you have a Mac or a Windows computer or even on your phone. So that is the first and foremost, the, the benefit of using Google Sheets. It's also shared easily. So you and your advisor can both work on the four-year plan um, at the same time. You don't have to worry about crazy formatting and um, that type of thing. You can even adjust it and make comments that keeps you and your advisor both in the communication loop about your four-year plan every time it changes. Also, uh, another benefit of using Google Sheets is it's your work is saved automatically. You won't have to, um, you won't lose the work that you've done or changes you've made. And you actually can go back on the history and see the changes you have made if you wanna go back and, and go back to a previous um, version. Next, you can, one of the benefits of using Google is you can link it right to the bulletin, right in the same document. So you can have, you can have your majors and your minors and those pages linked to the bulletin right there. So if you need to, as you're working on your plan, if you need to check something or look about, look to see what a course, certain course description is or see, looks at, at some prereqs and that type of thing, you can click right there and don't have to open up a variety of different places. It's all in one space one-stop shop. So hopefully by now you, you understand and now we have convinced you uh, that Google Sheets would be a really good tool for you. Um, so as a quick, quick and dirty explanation of how to do this, and then Ed will take you through an actual demo of doing this, uh, you will open the template, which is available for all students. Um, you'll make a copy of it, maybe with your name, um, so you know that that's yours. Enter your courses connected to the bulletin with your majors and minors, Fill in your requirements, put in future plans as much as, much as you know, um, and then share it with your advisor. And then you can kind of, that's a working document, working living document that you can continue to go back to, revise and tweak as you need to do. All right, so give me a moment here to switch over to the template. So this Google Sheet, a link to this is available in the module in your Canvas page for AR101. It's a, a Google Sheet that everyone at John Carroll has access to, so you can view it. Um, as we mentioned, the first step that you wanna do when you open up the template is to go under the file menu and make a copy. And then you can take that and save it with your name. I'm gonna call it Ed's for your course plan. And I'm gonna say, okay, now it's saved in my Google Drive. You can easily share it with, uh, with anyone you want. Um, could be parent, could be your friend, but 100% it should be your advisor so that the two of you are able to work on it together. To give you an idea of sort of how the spreadsheet works, I'm gonna click onto this second tab that is already filled in. So you can sort of see um, a version of this that a student that had entered last year, a current sophomore, uh, sort of how that student uh, has used this Google Sheet. So there are on the left-hand side, these banks of columns that show the classes that this student has taken before coming to John Carroll, whether that's AP or CCP, this student didn't have any, but if you had, for instance, AP English or APUSH, you could put the credits right in there. Then we'll see the students' first, uh, first year of courses, spring, uh, fall, spring, and summer. Then the current classes that the student is in for fall, 
what the students thinking about taking for spring and then next summer, then junior year and then senior year for this student. Again, this is a student that plans to graduate in 2024. I want you to note that as the courses get put in, the running total of credits automatically tallies up for you. So again, the goal is to get up to at least 120 credits by the time you graduate. This spreadsheet will help you keep track and make sure that you're staying on target. So back to this student, they didn't have any AP or CCP credits coming in, no problem, that's fine. We, we can put in the courses that they took fall of their first semester. So AR 112, one credit. They took Bio 1 for three credits. English 125 for three credits. A history course for three credits. And Psych 101 for three credits. That's a total of three credits. You might notice that Biology 157, the Bio 1 lab is not there. That student withdrew from that course. So we took it right off their um, plan because the, the courses, the, the credits didn't tally up. Maybe that's reassuring that not everybody starts every class that they want. It's not the end of the world, right? This student came in wanting to be a bio major and about halfway through bio one decided not gonna be a bio major. So the good news is that student loved their psychology class. Um, and so as we put together their plan for spring, we included a couple of psychology classes just to make sure that psych was gonna work. So our history 201, uh, an English course for Kappa, Psych 190, which is a really cool career exploration kind of professional development class for psychology majors, Psych 262, a developmental psych course, and Sociology 101. So 14 credits for that student in the spring. In the summer, they took French online at Tri-C to get their language started. So you can sort of see as you put the courses in, they totaled up to their 30 credits for the year. All right, on the right-hand side of the sheet, you can see how we have filled in the pieces of the core as the student has taken them. So for instance, they took English 125 in fall of 2020. In fall of 2021, they're taking their QA course, Data 122. Their plan is for summer 21. They took French 101. They're gonna take French 102 next summer. This fall, they're taking Gen 101 for their ISJ course. Last spring, they took Art History 201 for their EGC, Engaging the Global Community course. All of these abbreviations for the core are gonna become more familiar as you work through uh, the plan with your advisor. But um, again, there's always that core sheet that's also in the module that you can go back and look at to kind of get in your head what all of these abbreviations mean. But, um, so for this student, we can see how they are really working away at their core. For instance, this gray semester, fall 2021, they're doing three of their core courses. Their QA, their humanities, and their philosophy, knowledge, and reality are all getting taken care of this fall. Um, as we look ahead to future semesters, we can see that sometimes, like for instance, in spring, the student knows they wanna take the next SATS class. They're gonna take a clinical site class. They also know that they're gonna take two more courses, but they aren't exactly sure what. Maybe a TRS or a philosophy course, maybe another core or a link course. So as they um, work up this plan, those question marks or those ors are gonna come into an actual course. And then later on, it'll change the slots that they have below where it just says core. We might know that if they've done their philosophy course that other core course that's remaining would be whichever course is open up here on the right-hand side. So far, so good. Okay, so the other thing that this student has done is they have taken the um, right side of the sheet to lay out the requirements for their psychology major. And they've also linked to the bulletin right here at the top. So we can click on that text where it says psychology major, and it will take us directly to the concentration in psychology that this student is interested in, the mental health concentration. So again, they have taken the requirements that are there, Psych 101, Psych 190, Psych 301, Psych 301 Lab, on and on and on, right down the 
right down the list and they have these click back to their sheet. They have laid out these courses right in a row so they can keep track of how they're progressing in the course. Um, one really cool thing about this is that as you look at the courses in the bulletin, you can click on them to get, excuse me, information about the course. So for instance, one of the required courses for psych is Psych 301, Experimental Design and Analysis and Psychology. It's a four credit course. And then we can see that it has a few prerequisites. In order to take Psych 301, a student has to take in Psych 101, as well as two stats courses, Data 122 and Data 260, as well as English 125. So we know as this student planned their academic career, they sort of slotted in Psych 301 down here next fall. So they had to be sure that they had Data 122 this fall, Data 260 coming up in the spring, and then they were all set for Psych 301. They took English 125 at the beginning of their career at John Campbell. So when you have a link to the bulletin, it's this really great way of seeing what courses are required, what courses are prereqs. All right, so um, I know that's a lot of information to throw at you, but again, as you slot in your courses on this empty sheet, it's really easy to change the links that I have in there to the major minors that you're interested in and for you to put in your coursework and to match it up with the core requirements here. Thank you uh, for your attention. I know this is a new process for you, um, but I want you to remember that Lisa and I uh, are available by email. It's easy to make appointments with us by handshake or to, to drop in. If you have questions, you can work with us or the peer success advisors, the student workers in our office here in the uh, student success commons in the library. And meanwhile, um, in the interim, we, we really encourage you to follow our Instagram or Twitter and maybe let your families know about the Facebook page. Uh, we definitely have deadlines, important dates coming up and tip academic success tips also announcements about workshops and th those types of things on our Instagram. So that's a good place to kind of see what's going on um, and what you want to put in your calendar. All right, we hope to see you all soon. Good luck making your four-year plans. Thank you.